For this Zentangle Quickie, we're going to take a look at the Tangle Manouche from CZT Nathalie Marinoff. And I hope I'm pronouncing all that right. Uh, my name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I am a certified Zentangle teacher, CZT. And Manouche is a, gosh, it's a really neat tangle. And it's a um, grid based tangle, but it's a grid of dots. So we're going to start here and I'm going to, I'm going to start in the, let's see, I'm trying to think if I get four across, maybe I was like, let's just see, how do I want to one, two, and, and basically you're just touching your pen to the, uh, to your paper. You know, I'm going to do it this way. So that way I kind of get this all in the middle nicely. Well, maybe I can get one more on either side. See, no matter, mine always, you know, <laughs> I didn't do a border. So sometimes, you know, just things get a little, it's not exactly centered onto the tile, but that's okay. All right. So once you have your dots, then we're going to uh, draw diagonal seeds. And so uh, for those, if you're new to Zentangle, uh, you'll hear the term seed. And seed is basically, uh, it's, it's a curved line going one direction, a curved line going the other direction, you know, in one shape. So let's see, I'm going to turn it this way. So I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start I don't know why I started that way on my step outs, but I'm going to start backwards. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> you So this just means you can start however, which way you want. The idea is we're going diagonal one direction, then we'll go diagonal the other direction. All right, so I'm going to start here on this uh, far right corner dot. And again, it's a curved line one direction and a curved line going the opposite direction. And so we're going to do this diagonally all the way across and then pop down a line and you could, you know, which, whichever way you want to go. And so we're going from dot to dot. So the, that way, so the dot becomes part of the tangle. It's not something separate. So like, um, some grids are, will have say an orb. And while that's, you know, it's still part of the tangle. Um, it's just a little bit different. This one ends up disappearing into the tangle. All right. Now, what you'll want to do is play with how thick your seeds are. Uh, there are some tangles. Actually, this is, is somewhat similar to Fife, except, uh, let me remember, Fife um, goes in a square where and then we're crisscrossing but then the the you know so this is the Chris and the cross goes underneath we're using the halibau uh concept this one is kind of neat and it's it seems like there's been a couple recently that you know we're I'm drawing over something that we're already having I'm like no sacrilege it, we know we don't we go under it's halibau that's what we do and, but you know <laughs> we don't have to <laughs> So that's what's kind of fun is it makes a really neat pattern, you know, even going over it. And, um, you know, and the hollow ball technique is a technique for drawing underneath. So if you want to draw underneath, then you can. So again, so we're going to go diagonal the opposite way. And yes, going over what we have. And so this is where it, it's not really tricky, but just, you know, just a little bit of attention paid to make sure that you're going from the right place to the right place. I've caught myself a couple times going, what? No, 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 not, not there. This actually makes me think, because I, I, I like to do counted cross stitch and, um, this and, and well and Fife when we do that one, uh, you, even do, doing it the halibau way, um, it just makes me think of that because that's essentially what this is. And there we have it. And you know, you know, essentially that's the tangle. Um, then you get to pick how you want to decorate it. You know, and I think I might just leave this one just like so. And um, because I do have a couple other ones that I had done, 
Uh, but I can show you a couple different ideas on tangling because I have another idea for this one. Um, I think. Because <laughs> there is a certain beauty in just the way it is. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of shading though to it. Um, just because I want to. I'm thinking it would be really neat um, if I wanted if I wanted to add color. This could be really neat, kind of stained glancy, you know, where you, you know, just adding different colors to it. It could be kind of cool. Now let's see. Now normally when I do, um, we'll say Fife, or, because there's a couple tangles that are like this, where we have these seeds that, you know, kind of uh, come together in a place. And let's see. Let me just start there. So I'm doing just the four intersection, you know, where four of them are intersecting. I'm just going to spread it. I did do this on a different um, tile, although on this, on the other tile that I'll share in a minute, I didn't just expand the circle of graphite that I put in the middle. I, I kind of did a little bit, but I went more into each seed. Oh, and see, and that looks kind of neat just as it is. And then... And what I will, you know, usually do, because this would be an inter, you know, a f intersection here. Um, so with that, let's just, so I kind of put like a half of, a half a piece of, <laughs> well, kind of a half of a circle is what I end up doing. And then here I'm just putting a little dot. So like as if it was continued. And so here, like I'm just doing a half, a half circle. Just to kind of, you know, keep that sort of consistent. And. Oh, and that looks kind of neat. You know, and I like it because it's just delicate. Just like that. Now, a couple other ways that you can um, decorate this. And th these are, and these two are in the step out. So this was the first way, although I didn't, I didn't do all of the diamonds, but what you can do is, um, well, I think I'm still gonna, I think I might still leave it that way because it looks neat. Just do, you could, you could do a pattern, but what I did was I, um, kind of aurad, um, but really with a curved line inside of the diamond and then just, uh, filled in that space with, uh, with the marker with the marker with the pen and um and that you know it kind of creates a really neat look so you could do all of them if you want to or like like I have done here I created a pattern with uh just with just these and actually you know what um let me just show right real quick just in case that didn't make any sense because I was thinking ooh, it could be kind of cool um to do kind of like a, um, a cross with these. Now, honestly, you could take a thicker marker or pen oh, and, <laughs> and, um, you know, just do that instead of, you know, you don't have to do this where I'm kind of making a, a curved line on the inside. It does add a little bit of character versus just having it be all of the same thickness where I've kind of, um, you know, it's thinner at the ends because I've, I'm, I've done this curved line as long as I'm behaving and, and the pen is working right with me. Yeah. And then I'll do these ones. Uh, and it's just because I feel like I'm rushing and I shouldn't. It's a Zentangle quickie, but not too quick. Just as quick as it needs to be. I try not to add too much, too much fluff. And really, the only thing that I really have to worry about is my rambling. <laughs> so. We get just the basics. All right, we'll want just one more because I was thinking that that would look kind of neat. But, you know, it, well, and here's another thought. You could do even this in a separate color. I mean, it, I, I do like to stick traditional Zentangle, which is black, white, shades of gray. Um, and we do that 
that's in the methodology. Um, and the reason is so that way you don't have a lot of decisions to make. It's just, you just, you, you get your stuff, you sit down, take a deep breath and, you know, and, and, and go. And that's it. And not, you know, not a whole lot of mess, not a lot of planning and not a lot of anything. Um, and it's just really, really nice. So, um, so, so, oh, <laughs> I missed one. So, I mean, so this is a nice idea that if you wanted to cre kind of create a pattern with the uh, filling in, then you could. I still think, and I might, I'm going to try another one later um, and maybe do add some color into this section. It's kind of like creating your own coloring book, right? Um, and they have fun with that. Now, another way is um, where, so on these ones, I aurad the inside of these diamonds and then shaded the inside in. So that gives a completely different look. And this is the one that I, I, I did shading here in the center, but then I aimed it, I directed it out into those seeds just a little bit more. Um, so that way I, I was trying to keep uh, the diamond a little bit free of, of graphite. So, so let me back that up so you can see all of them. So, sorry about that moving. All right, so there are three ways to decorate it. There's a whole bunch of other ones. I know in my mind, uh, another ways to, uh, to decorate these and have a lot of fun with this tangle. So um, with that, in the description box are my step outs, as well as ways to connect with me if you wish. Um, I do do classes every, live classes. Um, um, and at some point I'm going to, I'm going to do a YouTube live, um, maybe a Facebook live, maybe YouTube live first, um, probably. So, uh, if you want subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell and just to see the options that are there. Cause I know I was surprised the other day and I was getting a notification and I was like, wow, hmm, I didn't think I had signed up for notifications. And, um, cause the way I work is I like to just go to open up YouTube and of the channels I subscribe to see who has new content and go there if I wish to, uh, and not be bothered with, you know, pop-ups and emails and things like that. So just check that. So that way you get the options that you are looking for. Um, and then also that way, if I, if I do decide to do a, a, a YouTube live, um, then you'd be notified as that as well. I'm assuming. So, um, but I might give that a, give that a try, uh, in, uh, you know, pretty soon here. So, um, with that, and if you enjoyed the video, also give us a thumbs up too. All right. Thanks so much. And I wish you happy tangling.